Good morning, Shabby. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello, everybody. It's Tuesday, October 24th. And the gospel today comes from St. Luke. Still from St. Luke. Chapter 12, verses 35 to 38. Okay, we will read only the first part of this gospel and comment on it. Jesus said to his disciples, You listen, yeah. Jesus said to his disciples, Gear your loins and light your lamps. Gear your loins, light your lamps, and be like servants who wait, who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. So what are the key words here that, uh, that we, need to, we need to keep in mind, which our Lord uh, is reminding us of? Yes, Joe. To always be the good wife and be prepared for the Lord's return. Yes. Um, be prepared, right? Be prepared. Okay. Well, Okay, why don't you explain what the gospel means? <laughs> okay, but very good, very good. This gospel is talking to us about preparedness, about readiness, right? Readiness, like servants who await their master's return from a wedding. And what does that phrase refer to? The return of the master. The master is Jesus Christ, right? Return here is really referring to the second coming of Jesus Christ. See? The second coming, which, which he uh, talks about in many other parts of the gospel, right? The second coming of Jesus Christ. But you see, uh, that is the ultimate return. That's the ultimate comeback. But Jesus is going to be coming back many more times uh, before the... Uh, the, the second coming. The other application of this uh, of this particular gospel is the coming, the welcoming that uh, Jesus will do to us when we die. Okay? When we die, that is also a sort of homecoming. That because it is us who will be going home to our heavenly home, which is heaven. Assuming, of course, that we lived our lives according to the will of God while we are here on earth. Okay? But this coming, this reunion, can also happen every day. We don't have to wait for the second coming of Jesus. We don't have to uh, wait for the time of death for us to have that uh, reunion with the Master. This thing actually happens every day. And can happen every day for us. Okay? Because every day of our lives, God, God comes to us in different ways. God manifests himself to us in many different ways all throughout the day. It is up to us to recognize, to recognize the will of God and what God is asking of us in the little things of everyday life. In the circumstances that happen, the situations we confront every day, God is there. Jesus is there. He wants to meet us in all of those ordinary circumstances every day. And He wants us to be ready. He expects us to be ready to accept Him, to welcome Him, and to, to do His will at that particular moment of the day. Okay? So, the question to ask is, are we ready all the time to understand what God wants of us and to accept what God wants us to do on those moments of the day? The, the metaphor of girding your loins and lighting your lamps is a sign of readiness, right? It means that, you know, you, you, got, your, you got yourself all... Uh, all geared up and you have a lamp lighting up the lighting up the way lighting up the darkness around you the illumination of that lamp is a is a metaphor for 
uh, uh, enlightening our hearts and our minds to be clear about the will of God for us and to have our hearts ready to accept the will of God all the time. All the time. So the illumination here that's needed is an illumination of our minds so that it can understand what God wants from us at each moment of the day. And it is also the light, the illumination of the heart, so that we will have the readiness to accept the will of God. Whatever it is that He might send us during the day. Whatever it is He might be communicating to us all throughout the day. We have to be ready. See? We have to be ready to accept the will of God. So that is the kind of readiness that this gospel wants to remind us of today. To be ready, ready all the time. To be ready. Um, now, how can we how can we be sure that we are ready? How what kind of readiness can we can we employ every day uh, in encountering the different circumstances we we encounter every day? You know, at home, at work, um, as we go out into the world, there are so many things that God wants to communicate to us. How are we going to be ready, Joe? What were you raising your hand for? Okay, of course, number one is to pray, right? Prayer, prayer, prayer is always the first attempt to uh, understand the will of God. And what kind of prayer should we do whenever there are things that we don't understand in life? Whenever there are things that we uh, perhaps don't comprehend completely? And even during the ordinary circumstances of the day, we can always pray to understand what God wants, right? It doesn't always have to be in a moment of confusion only. It always does. It, it, we don't only have to pray for the will of God at those times, God bless you, when we don't understand what's going on, right? But even if, even before we start doing anything, even before we start the day, we can already pray for an enlightenment, for, for an uh, understanding of the will of God. And it's a very simple prayer. Me, what I always do is this. I always ask, my Lord, what do you want of me now? My Lord, what do you want me to understand now? What is it that you want me to do now? See? Very simple, very simple question. What is it you want me to understand now? What is it you want me to do now? Before I start my work every day, in fact, before we even start the day, eh? remember when we do the morning prayers? When we do the morning prayers, that is a sign of readiness, that we are ready to do the will of God during the entire day. And remember how, remember how uh, uh, in the morning prayer formula of the prayer that I had taught you, there is that portion where we pause. Eh? There's that part where we pause. Because we pray for something special during the day. That is the point of that prayer where you can ask God, okay, what do you want of me today? Help me to understand your will today. And help me to accept your will and to carry out your will today. Okay? So we can make that a habit. Even before you, you do your schoolwork, when you, before you sit down, we, before we start our schoolwork, we pray to the Holy Spirit, right? What are we asking the Holy Spirit when we pray the, the prayer to the Holy Spirit? We ask for enlightenment. See? We ask that our minds get enlightened to understand not only what we are studying for that day, but to understand the will of God for us in general. See? To understand why we need to study. To understand the whole purpose of why we are studying. So that is a very good discipline that we could, a very good Catholic practice that we could use and employ every day. That way, that way, folks, if we have that disposition of daily being in union with the will of God, then we would have no worries about death and about the second coming. We will always be ready to welcome the Master. Because all throughout our lives, we have been in the habit and in the disposition of always trying to understand His will, accepting His will, and doing His will. And 
at the end of our lives, we would like to hear what our Lord himself said, right? Uh, come, come, you blessed of my Father, okay? because you have been faithful. You have been faithful in, the, uh, in, in carrying out the will of God. Well, come, because I have prepared for you the mansions in heaven, right? You have a mansion in heaven. That is your reward for doing the will of God all the time. So let us be ready to discern, understand, and accept the will of God every day. Okay? Well, folks, that's it for us. Uh, I might be absent the next three days. I'm going on a trip, so please pray for the success of this trip. I'm going to Washington, uh, D.C. Uh, to... I'm accepting an award for my grandfather. My grandfather is getting a Congressional Medal for his uh, uh, exploits in the Second World War. So, please pray for this trip. And uh, it's going to be um, just in and out DC. I'm flying today and back on Thursday night. Uh, so, I don't know if in these uh, days I'll be able to do any gospel commentary. But please keep me in your prayers. So this may be a safe and, uh, and productive trip. Okay? And I'll see you when I come back. Yes, honey, is there anything you want to say? No? Yes, yes, yes. Who? Oh. Yes, she has something to say. Oh, okay. Well, if ever uh, Grandma Lai is uh, listening, well, we want to greet you a happy birthday. Okay? I think today's her birthday, right? Today's her birthday. Okay. That's it for us, folks. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.